What is up, everybody? Uh, so Gamescom happened today. Uh, I watched the beginning of it. You know, like the Nintendo stuff. Uh, there's a three-hour period in between the Nintendo and everything else, so I kind of fell back asleep and uh, missed the. Uh, what did I miss? I missed the Microsoft stuff and the. Uh, the Stadia stuff, but I was there for like the the after presentation, so that was pretty good. But um, this was a game. This was a game that uh everybody was talking about today. I downloaded it, played it for about mm, maybe hour, hour and a half. Uh, I'm digging it. Um, I just want to see if it's a, if it's a game that uh you know if I'm actually into it. Or if it's kind of just going to sit on the shelf. Um, but we'll see. Let's get right into it. Melanis, what's up, man? What you up to? I see you over there on YouTube. You can see the chat now. Remember how last stream we were talking about uh, having the chat up? Got the chat in there. What you think about it? Is it too small? Can you tell me if it's too small? So right off the bat, uh, when I first downloaded downloaded the game, I noticed that when I when I launch when I launch the game and I log in, uh, there's a lot of loading screens. Like it's probably dead quiet right now. You get the little background noise of nature and all that good stuff, but yeah, um, but yeah, it took a little while. Eh? Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it took a little while to, to log in. You're still at work. Bro, that is crazy. But, uh, are you going to be there all day? Or, or uh, how long you got until you're off? So, here's, like, your little base. Um, you know, after you do the tutorial, you come over here. Um... So inside the base, you can uh, you can go to like this table, or they have uh, this one. They all do the same thing, but they have different locations. So I don't know why I don't have a back door, but it's all good. You can even go to this one. So when you hold X, and uh, it'll bring you straight to the build. Uh, so I have three upgrades on my house uh, out of 13. And then let me see the wood logs. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay. So with the wood logs, it shows that with each upgrade, you can uh, start generating more materials per hour, which is not bad. Um, let's see. But yes, they have several upgrades uh i don't know i don't want to get too much into it because one i'm not there yet and I mean, hey let's just let's just play the game right so with the weapons uh the weapons you have to craft the weapons you have to make sure you get the ammo you go inside the matches and uh you know get loot make sure you get your materials for whatever you need and uh yeah, just build. <laughs> so that's what I'm starting to get. Uh, okay, so they have a store. Uh, the currency is crowns. Uh, so with the crowns, uh, you can buy them, obviously. Uh, what I don't know is with the crowns, is it you only buy them? Because I started off with 120. But I don't know if you could get them from like playing the game or if it's just you gotta buy them and that's it which I really hope they don't do I really hope you can get them in game but um, I guess I haven't got that far yet so let's see if I want to build I need more metal parts for the crafting table uh, oh okay so with the crafting table uh, with each level you unlock uh what is this what is this 
gun blueprints so you can start building them and yada yada but right now I think I can upgrade the log so I'll do that it's gonna take 10 minutes um, so let's go out and try to get some more materials and quick play I noticed that you in this game well earlier when I played you have to go to quick play if you try to go to a certain map it'll take way too long so it's definitely probably better if you uh, go to quick play okay so I haven't been to the snow map I've been to the one where uh, kind of looks like a little town and then I've been to one that kind of is like a mountain type region uh, it has like a little lake in the middle uh, so far the maps are really really good um, I'm really digging them so far So, um, before you start the match, uh, you can choose to uh, invest in more loot, uh, the loot crate, I can't see it, um, this is, yeah, to have a better crate for the airdrop, because there's one airdrop that happens in every match, uh, so you can increase the, the loot in it, it has different tiers, uh, I'll, I'll get to that in a second when I go back. Um, but you can only use crowns, so that's why I'm trying to figure out do I have to buy crowns or can I actually um, Can I get them in game so right now you can see I'm this uh, Dorito chip on the map um, So I have the signal detector near me There is the comm station the comm station uh, changes the drop area um it, it doesn't go too far so like it'll probably probably be like at least like this far but it'll change the location of it so you can know exactly where to go um the bard house i don't know what that is yet but uh let's get started and go towards the signal detector so you're just gonna have to follow this road right here One thing I do have to say about this game is that the graphics are really good. Um, let's see, quick. Okay, so I gotta take a left. Yeah, the graphics are really good. Um, and the movement, um, it's way better than PUBG. I know PUBG is kind of like stiff. Like if you played PUBG before, especially with the controller. Um, it's very very stiff. I passed it. So this is the signal detector. Somebody went to the comm station. That's why the uh, the landing zone has changed. But let's use this. Oh, now I can see where everybody's at on my map. Okay, so there's two people over here. Okay. So I should be good for a while. So if I go to about right here, um, I'll have to be on the lookout. So the main thing you want to do, well so far as, as like what I figured out. Um, okay, somebody must have looted this stuff doors are open but uh, you want to get in get your loot 
and leave or go for that airdrop and then run. I hear gunfire. There's nothing in here. I think somebody looted this. Nothing we usually listen to. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's go. Let's cut across. And let's go. Gunshots that way where I'm trying to head. Oh, uh, I don't see him. Where'd he go? With the Thompson too. Okay, so definitely didn't get anything from there. Uh, it says insurance would have kept your loadout safe. So pretty much, um, I would have kept everything, and. Um, yeah, so everything I would have picked up, I would have got it. Um, I lost my equipment. We preserved some materials from it. Okay. So, what I don't know is if I lose my guns. Because if I lost my guns, then, well, one, I need to craft it, losing more materials. And, uh,. I gotta be a little bit smarter about what I bring into battle. Okay, so I died, yes. I lost all my guns, okay. So I lost all my guns. That means that I need to craft more. And since that I don't have the parts for it, I have the parts for some guns, okay. So I have the parts for this one. So let's craft this gun, see how it is, see if I like it. Um, I do like this gun right here. So let's equip that. Um, is that the pistol? Okay. So let's go in like this. Um, wow. Okay. So I can't take in this uh, this carbine because I lost. I lost my ammo for it. 
so let's do that. Let's take in some goals for that now. Uh, for this one, I need. Oh, crap. Ah, so this is what the materials are for. Okay, so on the next one, let's just try to get some materials and come out and see how much uh, materials I end up gaining from staying alive. So let's craft, let's craft a full clip because we don't want to stay in there too long. So let's stay with that, and then let's let's try to go. Let's try to go into another match now. So you see it's starting to take a little while. Um, I did set up my log. My log's on level two. And I can collect 209 materials with 720 max. Um, I know that there's a, an upgrade where I can get a power generator so, I'm not, so that I can uh, upgrade multiple at the same time. Okay, so we got a new map this time. So let's see what's going on with this one. I do believe that I did play on this map, uh, but it was very short. I died very, very quickly. Um, it's like I spawned, I grabbed a couple materials, and then I ended up at somebody else's spawn. And uh, yeah, I just died. These uh, these loading times are kind of, kind of long. But I am digging the game so far. Uh, I wish I had another person to play with. Uh, if anybody's watching right now and has the game on the Xbox, um, feel free to type in the chat. Uh, let's start running, running some duos. So I can see what other guns people are bringing in. So it looks like everybody has the Thompson except for a couple people. And looks like I think the people that are starting to figure out that you, that you lose all your guns are starting to bring in one gun like these two people right here and this guy. So that's interesting. Um, starting off in the middle of the map at the bottom, I think I want to work my way towards this because I know that a lot of people, or at least a couple of people, should go that way. So let's head that way. And I believe there's an exit. Yeah, there's an exit that way too. I just hope that nobody sneaks up on me. But uh for the most part I've been getting a jump on people. I just haven't been uh, capitalizing. Okay, so the dude knows where I'm at because that's the signal detector that I was heading towards. So there's definitely somebody over there right now. Let's see how far I'm at. Not too far.
Got him. Okay. So let's take all his stuff. Let's take his guns. Uh, did he take his stuff? No, he didn't. I want this gun, though. Let's swap it out for the Thompson, because we already have the Thompson. And, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> I got, uh, get everything that I want so far. I really don't want to risk it. So let's let's get out of here. Exits are the way to get out of the area. Timely escape is the key for survival. I hear my more gunfire. Yeah, I'm thinking we should just get out of here for right now. Next game, uh, come in. Next game, come in with one gun, with maybe like two clips, and uh, see what we can do. That was not bad. Okay. Give me one second. So let's continue. Let's get rid of this. Come over here. Open that. Okay. So yes. So let's check out what we got. So I took I took their rare weapon. Or no, it's common. But it's not an uncle, so that's good. So let's let's keep this. Let's unequip that. I stole their painkillers and their antibiotics. So I don't really care about the bandages or the healing stuff. Um, that's okay for me. So let's get some ammo going. I think I'll take both of these guns. Let's create another whole clip. And uh, for this one, I should have enough. So let's take two clips of that. And let's take one. So on this one, let's try to get a couple more kills. 
Um, oh, I keep forgetting we have to go to the bench to actually queue up. So I could just do it from there. Let's get another quick quick play going. So we're going back on the same map. That's that that that'll be good because I'm starting to get kind of familiar with it. Okay. But these loading times, man, they're not bad. It's just too frequent. So I'm coming in here with two guns. And I don't believe that there's another way to get the, the currency. Which, I, that's the one thing I really don't like. Okay, so we got somebody with a rifle and a pistol. Somebody coming in with just Thompson. This is me. You see a shotgun and a pistol, Thompson. I don't know what that is. It's probably like a scout rifle, maybe. Um, and Thompson, Thompson. So it looks like everybody's still uh, around the level or around the progress of only having a Thompson, which isn't bad. Okay, so we're starting at the bottom of the map again. We're by the airdrop. But I'm not sure if I just want to stick around here. Let's see. This one's both here, so it should just be straight down to that house. This is the loot. We might be able to uh, just camp out, hold down the grounds, wait for the airdrop. The only person I'm really worried about is the person that has the... I think they have a sniper maybe. But that would definitely be the person that I'm, I'm worried about. Okay, so whenever you... If you're playing this game and you ever get to this, all you have to do is just... Um, Keep going through the numbers until you feel a vibration. Then that's the number. Once you go through all of them, they'll unlock. It's pretty simple. I didn't know it at first, but after it kind of just messing with it. I hear gunfire coming from this way. So I'll leave them be. Let's continue to our destination. That was my destination. So let's go this way. Yeah, let's go towards them. But let's go away from the trail so we can sneak up on somebody. Let me make sure I'm in first person whenever I aim down the sight. So the landing zone has been changed. They moved it closer to to that or to their area. So if we get that, let's go this way. I hear more gunfire that way. But I'm trying to get an airdrop this game.
more gunfire behind me. So, give me a second. Let's go to the map. Let's see. Comms is over here. And they put down the airdrop over there. They must try to. I think they're going to be in here. So, let's go to this. They're definitely gonna wait for that airdrop. So let's go this way and try to work our way around. Now, with this game, you want to be very careful with uh, your jumps and if you fall off cliffs because you will lose a lot of health. Right here. Gun Gunshot is very close. Oh, I think, I think they see me. No, we're definitely fighting each other. All right, let's try that. Oh, no, no, don't. All right, so this guy right there. I just lost him. There he goes. Oh, he got me with that shotgun. Oh, that was nasty. Jeez, maybe I should come in here with the shotgun. He was pretty far away, too. I tried to switch to uh, my machine pistol, but it didn't switch. Um, usually if I tap it, it'll be okay and I can just do it like that, but it wasn't doing it. So just to make sure next time I'll, uh, I'll hold it down. These loading screens, man. So I lost everything, I died, I lost everything. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get my machine pistol and I'll get a shotgun, definitely. The only thing I'm really worried about right now is my materials because I don't wanna go through all my materials and I don't have anything. So I'm at 6,000, so I did gain some uh, over the course of me playing. Probably gained about 1,000 in about 30 minutes or so. So that's pretty good. So yeah, let's go with the shotgun and my machine pistol. Let's make more clips. I bring in two full clips. I don't like to bring in partial. Okay. Let's get in there. See, when I was running. Like, you know, he shot me, I was running away, 
and trying to get into a different position, uh, I lost him. And I need to have a better time trying to run away and still keep track of where the enemy is at. So we're in another snow map, but this one for sure I have not played yet. Um, that's a good thing actually because I think they have six or seven maps maybe and uh, I haven't played on all of them yet I probably play I have a total of like two to three hours played so that's pretty good Let's see what everybody's rocking. Uh, shotgun, Thompson, pistol, Thompson, 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 pistol, pistol. He only brought a pistol. This, you must be coming in for loot, and that's it. This guy's ready, and he got the helmet on. That's me. Okay, so I'm guessing that these two right next to me. I was trying to go after that uh that airdrop. So I'm starting at the top of the map. It's gonna be quite a journey, but let's go towards the comp station because um Scout the area to get familiar with it. Don't forget that you might Yeah, let's go to the comp station because somebody's gonna anywhere. get there and change the area anyways. The area of the drop, so might as well walk towards there. Ooh. We got some healing supplies. And I can use it. Okay. So let's start off with the machine pistol. And make our way across the map. Okay, let's see where I'm at. Making progress. I'm almost there. Let's pick up stuff along the trail. Before I get there. So this is a landmark, and we're almost there, but somebody's definitely been here. Yeah, this place, this place been uh, wiped clean. So let's head down here. Okay. 
I really want the airdrop. But I'm surprised that nobody changed the location yet. So if that's the comms area, no doors open. Let's get the shotgun now. That wasn't the comms area. Let's go, let's go. Sniper is there. Alright, I see you. So we are at three. Let's put it to three. Let's get the high ground so we can scope out the area. I'm gonna check my map. Yeah, this is the drop area now. So I probably wanna head that way. But before I do that, let me see. Here's the drop area. The closest exit is one of these two. But I think I want to go on the big trail and then get up out of here. So let me just make sure. It's uh, directly in front of where I'm aiming. So about the house, there's somebody there. Oh, I hear somebody. Did not get that man. Come on. Oh, I need to reload. Ugh. But how did I not kill that man? Let alone hit him with my shotgun. I chased the kill and I shouldn't have. Jeez.
Okay. So I'm going to end this gameplay uh, here. Uh, I haven't quite reached an hour yet. Got a, uh, it's almost about 50 minutes. But I'm, I'm really liking the game. Really liking the game. Um, there's still more to learn. Still more to figure out. Um, I kind of want to play with another player to see, you know, the fun factor. But uh, definitely digging it. Um, I need to work on my gun skills. That's for sure. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to end this gameplay. Uh, I'll probably say give me about 20, 20 minutes. And I'm going to set up for some Devil May Cry because Devil May Cry is on the Game Pass now. And I'm ready to go through a second playthrough of that game. Uh, I got through Gamefly when it first came out. And yes, I love me some Devil May Cry. Uh, so, yeah, give me 20 minutes. Come back for this Devil May Cry gameplay. But till then, I'll see y'all later, man. I'm out.